defeat Iago and the sages. Okay. Sages. Archers. Okay. Fighters. Anyone that I need to be worried about? Hmm? Like who's this? A sage? Okay, there's one of them. Are there any like ruffians or like anything that will disappear out of nowhere? Some mages, some sages. Okay, a lot of mages. And Iago himself. All right. Uh, you guys did well. Oh, let me just switch back to what I had. Four. We're gonna slowly make our way through all the characters. Uh, As you wish, of course. The, all of their. Uh, what, what are they called? Fuck. Um, supports. Ah, that's the word. We're almost done with the Rowan, so we won't have to worry about him. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll definitely remove him. <laughs> When we get to uh, it, get everything we need. Xander, Xander, and Elise. Those are the last two. All right. What Let's make you Xander, I guess. Elise. We'll do Elise just because you can heal. You know, just the uh, pair up. Lucina, I don't know. I don't know why I'm doing. I guess these are the characters that I have. I'm like the farthest along overall. That's why I'm doing it. Noka, did I? Okay, yeah. Noka, Elise, again. Frederick Cordelia. Yeah, I wanted to work with Cordelia. All right, looks good. Let's see what we'll have in store for us in the game. Let's get in there to victory. Okay, so I'll become your sword. What'll it be, game? <laughs> what are you gonna have for me? What's gonna be your little, little, uh, your, what's your plan? Usually the, these ones with unique characters have a little something extra, huh? Okay, it's, a sh it's like the shadow elimination, isn't it? And they're all coming to my base. Hmm, typical. Where are you going? Get out of here. Okay, you're yes. doing that. You're good. Finish that up. Okay. Good. Okay. Ooh, there's a lot going up there. On up, down inside us. <laughs> Shit. I guess I could talk about I did say like, what was it, two or three parts ago, I went on uh, a trip, I actually went on vacation to uh, Florida, Orlando, Florida, I did all the theme, I did uh, Disney World, Universal, no. I was only there for a week, but It was, uh, it was really fun. Uh, we... It was really hot. <laughs> Honestly, it was so hot. Considering, like, I'm a lot more, more north than Canada. I'm a Canadian boy. That was, uh, considering I just went from winter. It was still, like, snowing every, every now and then. To just uh, actually just uh, the complete opposite. 
it would it would rain for like a few minutes and then stop completely. Oh god. We let them in. Rowan, can you like take out that guy? Let's finish this mage, please, yeah. So we can go up there. What are you doing? I hope you're doing something. Uh, so what did I do? So, first day we went to... We went to uh, Epcot. In Disney. And I had no idea what that was, honestly. It was, and then, uh, it's like a... It's like showing off different countries around the world. And they different, like... Different like clothing, different foods, all that. It was a uh, oh god damn. It was really uh. Y I didn't expect that at all. It was really cool. To see all the different types of uh, countries and stuff. It just made me want to actually travel there myself. <laughs> so like maybe sometime in the future that'd be cool. But honestly, like. I think they had what did they have? They had they had Canada, they had well, they had like eight eight different countries. They had Canada, uh UK they had Norway, I think Germany or Italy. They had Japan, China, uh, America. Which is a weird like kinda of redundant, don't you think? <laughs> Really, really, Canada, uh, America, you're already in America. Come on. Uh, how many is that? They had uh, Mexico, and I think was it Morocco or something. And uh, they also they based up. Is he dead? Did they kill him? Yeah. What the fuck? What's going on? What do I have to hurry for? The sages? Yes. Okay. So yes. guess you could stop what you're doing. Just okay. fight that sage. Oh god, this went all the way down there, of course. Well, we finish that rally captain up and then we'll put Rowan to kill that other stage. Oh boy, hey. Fuck. God, after that last map, everything's going by a lot faster. Like, the health draining more. I'm not taking as much damage. You done? Finish that. Okay. Go to that Anna. We could just hit a thousand, yeah. And surprisingly for Epcot, I didn't expect it, but there's a lot of. They also showed off like a bunch of alcohol at Disney. It was really. I just didn't expect it, honestly. So, like, Italy had wine tasting. There was like sake at Japan. They had alcoholic shaved ice too there for some reason. I didn't try it, at, but like I was really curious about it, I guess. And then we went to the Magical Kingdom uh, on the second day. And it's just like Disneyland, honestly. That's about it, like, if you've already been to Disneyland, that's pretty much what that was, that part of the, part of the theme park it was. Okay, are you there? Okay, okay. Are you, okay, are taking out that? Where is... I never, like, come on, man. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, yeah, take out that rally captain, we'll... 
take on this, I guess. There. And we did get it, right? We, we got the memento. I think we did. Oof. That force now ours. And then Sigmund Sage, get out of here. Third day we went to Universal, uh, that three and fourth day we went to Universal, and it's definitely um, different considering Disney is obviously just completely Disney. And like the first thing I see are like billboards for like like Pad Express and Burger King and stuff. And just like a fossil, you know, like the, the the place that does like watches and stuff, right? It's like jeez, alright. Considering it's the like the only theme park I've been to too. Okay, we good. We almost killed that sage good. Liana should be fine, honestly. You're fine. There's no way you won't be fine. Kill this. Who is this, a shadow? Ooh, he got a lot going on in here. That should be the last, right? No, we gotta finish the last of those. After we clear this out, we can move on back to uh, Liana. Also, not much for rides, so there's not much I could really do. I just like looking at things. I'm taking pictures and. Uh, just getting getting into the the feel, the atmosphere and stuff of the the parks. I can't win this. So we did go on like a few rides, my family and I. But nothing too s scary. Besides this uh, one in uh, Universal, it was a Spider-Man ride. And my mom being also not much in the rides, asked the person that's uh, working there what kind of ride it is. And they're like, oh, it's very straightforward, you know, no drops. If you've been to the Universal, maybe you'll know about it, the Spider-Man one. But you wear these 3D glasses and... Wait, did I... Finish this. Okay, yeah, we're good. Where these three glasses you get in a car. This is a little cart. It reminds me of uh, it's like one cart of a roller coaster, pretty much. And you can already tell based off that what kind of ride this actually is, and that this this worker lied to us. And so. Uh, one of the first things that happened is that I guess like the, the story of the ride is that we're helping Spider-Man take pictures for his job. We're in this car taking pictures of him fighting all these enemies. First thing that happens, we're, we're, we have the 3D glasses on. Who's this? Okay, yeah. And these 3D glasses on. And so, fuck. Spider-Man jumps onto the car, bouncing the car up and down, and in that turn, in that in that one moment, everyone knew what kind of ride this was going to be. So immediately, we turn the corner, and uh, we see a bunch of the dead enemies, the baddies from Spider-Man. They're all fighting. They notice us, 
and they all start trying to attack us, throwing things. Like I don't really remember some of the Spider-Man villains. There's, there's this electric guy. He has this giant plug, and <laughs> he, he plugs it into the car and bounces up again. It just like it, there's a bunch of lightning and like vibrating because it's lightning. Just watch this. Uh, there's uh, Doc Ock. He has his arm swinging at us. Uh, Green Goblin has his like little bomb things, and like it was cool because the effect was that it it he threw it, and Spider-Man like caught it or something, and it uh, a wall of a building instead, and and sent it in and. It, it shot out fire on the side of the building while you're moving, it was really cool. And uh, what else is there? There's a bunch of things, a like, bunch of things that are jumping at us. The, c the car started moving, like spinning around. And then like, we started, like we actually did like, 720. Like, like two, two, three spins. And uh, what else happens? Oh yeah, something happened where apparently we lost gravity in ourselves, so we just started. The screen showed us like flying up into the air. <laughs> and of course, there's only one way to get back down, <laughs> and that was the biggest drop. And uh, overall, I actually had fun on that ride. Just kind of a uh, can't believe this is a thing that's happening moment. But overall, I enjoyed it. I like the visuals. I did it. S is everywhere. Yes. Give me all these. That was a good. That was a good panel right there. It had nothing on it. Just the background. <laughs> there you are. I found you. Hello, Elise. Are you here for another game? What'll it be today? Not another game of tag, right? I trounced you yesterday. Oh, you're getting overconfident. Well, today I thought we'd play hide and seek. Hide and seek it is. I look forward to another effortless victory. Yeah, yeah. Keep on bragging. I'm not gonna lose today. Very well. You can hide first. I'll start counting. Here I go. No peeking. Now where did she get off to? Maybe in here? Hmm. Nope. Not here either. Hey, Elise. I'm still gonna find you. Oh, I've been at this all day. Leanna's gonna be mad. But I can't just surrender. Elise, I'm still coming for you! <laughs> you still can't find me? Why don't you just give up? I can hear her voice, but where is she? Uh, Alright, I give up! You win, okay? Come on out! <laughs> Yay! Now we're tied! There you are! Where in the world did you go? Wouldn't you like to know? Alright, alright, I've admitted defeat. You don't have to rub it in. So, come on! Tell me where you were hiding. You're not gonna like it. <laughs> but I was hiding behind you the whole time. What? You can't be serious. I'm kind of an expert at hide and seek. <laughs> I've got other tricks up my sleeve too. Ooh, other tricks. Teach them to me. Maybe I can use them in battle. I don't know. If I teach you everything, will you still want to play again? Of course. I can't go out on such a humiliating loss. Once you teach me your tricks, it'll be a fair matchup, won't it? I suppose that's true. All right, I'll do it. So, the ultimate hide-and-seek move is to disguise yourself as a different person. Then you'd be able to hide in plain sight. That's genius. Thanks. Now there's something I want you to teach me. How to run faster. 
Because then it'll be a fair matchup when we play tag, too. <laughs> well, okay, but I have to warn you. It involves training. I don't care. I just want to be faster. Promise that you'll coach me? Of course. Let's get together and start training tomorrow. Yay! I'm gonna get so fast. Just you wait and see. <laughs> Looks like we got... I'm glad we've gotten closer. I don't mean to bother you, Lind, but are you okay? You seem lost in thought. Oh, hello, Princess Minerva. I was just thinking about Princess Nina. Princess Nina? Of Arcanea? I suppose you used to live in the Arcanean Palace, didn't you? Yes. My father, Maloa, served as Pontifex in the Royal Palace. But when Dolor invaded, the palace was torn apart. The royal family and everyone living there was either captured or killed, right? Yes. Except for Princess Nina. That any of the royal family survived suggests to me they're not to be trusted. Thinking only of protecting themselves. Perhaps they got what they deserved. Princess Nina isn't like that. She... she's kind and strong. She's a good person. She's the only one that gives the citizens of Arcanea any hope. Hope, hmm? And you believe she's worthy of that hope? Yes. She's been through so much, but she still looks to the future with optimism. She's the reason I decided to join the fight against Dolor in the first place. I see. If you defend her so fervently, then perhaps I'm wrong about her. Oh. I didn't expect you to give up your position so easily, Minerva. Being here has... softened me. In truth, until recently, I'd been avoiding you. Because... I'm Arcanean? Yes. From where I stand, Arcanea is at war with Macedon. I thought perhaps you might hate me for that very reason. But I've come to understand I was mistaken. And I was mistaken about you too, Princess Minerva. Since Macedon aligned with Dolor, my view of your people had... diminished. So it is during war. But you did say you would reconsider your thoughts on Princess Nina. So perhaps it is possible for our peoples to overcome their differences. It's hard to imagine now, but the idea is nice. The sooner the better. Why don't we work together to build a future in which we're free from Dolor? If we can get along, I'm sure Macedon and Arcanea will be able to. Yes, I'm sure we'll be able to reach that point eventually. Until then, I'll work to bring peace to the continent from Princess Nina's side. <laughs> Princess Nina must be relieved to have such a gifted mage behind her. We may have a long road ahead of us, but we'll make it. Right, Lind? Yes. Now, let's take the fight to our enemies, together! That was nice. This one's about making peace through a war, while well, during a war, and the other one's playing tag and hide and seek. Anyone else? No? The power of Velazark be with us! Okay. Let's do this one again. Nice hand. Let's put our You're kind to be spending time with me like this. From now on, I want you to fight it. You're kind to be spending time with me like this. You kick your alright. I'm pleased you've been able to get to know each other better. How does that even happen? The ones that aren't, so like, grouped together were the ones that, whatever. So it looked like there was five, five missing pieces for the mementos, and it looks like there's only four here. So I think that might be one of the ones, one of the times where it's gonna be. It'll be in the next one over. That's a shame. Oh well. So I think we'll go... This one, right? This this one will unlock this guy, right? I'm guessing these two, or at least this one, will unlock Darius's. It's weird that Darius is here. <laughs> but whatever. He's not really one of the evil mages, as the rest of them are. He's using a sword. 
Also, he was um, not manipulated, hypnotized, sort of. Eh, whatever. Let's just do this one. 